Hey everyone, Ryan here, Evan Productions, and over the years, LEGO Star Wars has released a lot, a lot of Luke's land speeders. Many would tell you, too many Luke's land speeders. And most recently, there have been a couple of a bit of contention, but they are the best Luke's land speeders, in my opinion. We have the $30 2020 Luke's land speeder, and most recently, the $200 UCS Luke's Land Speeder. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I'll have links for them down below and we'll talk more about them later in the video. So thanks to Squarespace and let's talk about these two sets. Some basic info on the 2020 Luke's Land Speeder for you. Had 236 pieces and retailed for 30 US dollars. This one released in January of 2020 but is now retired. So if you wanted to buy this after this video, you're gonna have to pay a little bit more than retail, closer to 40 or 50 dollars, but still obviously much cheaper than the UCS one, which we'll touch on in a second. Very nice set looking at it on the back and the unboxing experience is no different than any other Lego set you've ever unboxed. There's bags and instructions inside wild. Now the UCS set has 1,890 pieces for $200. Comes with the all black box, so a little bit less exciting maybe than this, but certainly more elegant of a box. And it's rated for ages 18 and up, so this is obviously an adult collector set, not a play set like this one. Not that you can't display this one, we'll touch on that a little bit later. And then this is what the back of the box looks like. And as far as the unboxing experience goes, very similar to the smaller Luke's Landspeeder, really just bags inside and then the instruction manual is really where this is differentiated because the instruction manual has a bit of reading about Luke's land speeder and some of the design process and some about the actual vehicle in the movie. So there's a bit more there for the build process that some people might enjoy. On the left, we have Luke Skywalker from the smaller set. And on the right, we have the UCS version. They are actually the exact same version, except the one on the left has the poncho, which in my opinion, makes it a way cooler and better figure. Just that extra little accessory really puts it over the top. Obviously, he has a lightsaber in the UCS set versus the blaster in the smaller set, but I don't think that's a difference worth anything to anyone. The smaller set also has a Jawa with a small cave build, so another extra figure in that $30 set to give you a little extra value, but I don't think this is going to put it over the top. Now, where the UCS set blows the playset out of the water is with the C-3PO minifigure. It has a dual molded silver, or really more of a light gray leg, but just like C-3PO in the movie has a silver leg, they've represented it there. Now the smaller play set C-3PO does not have any arm printing or side leg printing or even foot printing, but the UCS C-3PO has all of those things and they look fantastic as you can tell. A beautiful figure with such an extravagant amount of detail, really giving you that added bonus for your money at $200 versus $30. So if you're in it for the figures, the UCS set might be for you with the C-3PO, although the poncho Luke Skywalker is very nice too. The land speeders themselves retain the same color scheme across the board with this very nice kind of tan color as well as the dark red color from Lego. And then obviously some grays mixed in, but obviously this really just looks like a scaled down version of the UCS set, which is kind of what you're looking for. You don't want your play set to be significantly different. You do want it to be similar. So it is very nice to see that they have kept some continuity there, especially with the colors, whereas Luke's land speeder over the years has kind of flip-flopped with its color scheme a few times, so getting something that is the same is definitely optimal here. Play feature-wise, the smaller Luke's Landspeeder is, of course, going to take the cake. It's much more swooshable, so you can just pick it up with one hand and play with it as you please. If you try to pick this up with one hand, I mean, you can do it, but, like, it's heavy and you really don't want to. It also doesn't have the same inverted tiles on the bottom to make it smooth for rolling it over a surface. So as you can maybe hear, it's kind of scratching there. This one has those inverted tiles, which makes it something that can actually kind of zoom across your landscape. And in this case, my landscape is just a table, but it's obviously more playable than a UCS version, as it should be. The set also retains the ability to remove this piece here and actually have a little storage bin in there with the binoculars. So that's something that's nice that is not gonna be represented on the UCS version. I'm not pulling those plates up. They don't do anything. Now, as far as the seating is concerned with the play scale set, it has the seats that perfectly fit the minifigs and they actually attach in there so they don't just 
fall out if you were to like flip it over or something it's not something you have to worry about but technically you can put the minifigs in the ucs set seats if you want to i don't really know why you would they look so goofy in there i love it actually maybe that's why you would because they look funny that's like that's they actually look really funny look at c3po's look at the top of his head oh my god that's actually kind of great um but yeah obviously it's not the intended function of the seats but you know it's lego do what you want with it i'm sure some kids somewhere might get a hold of their parents ucs luke's land speeder and play with it like this but like obviously that's not what the seats are made for and they like fall out so easily and you they only really work if you sit them the way i have them set it otherwise they tend to just slide down like that so instead of physically being in the seats the minifigures from the ucs version just go on the stand for the set and you can see the plaque there as well has some great information about it that's something you won't have on the smaller play scale set obviously today's comparison video is sponsored by squarespace Squarespace is an easy to use all-in-one platform that allows you to build a website and engage with your audience, which is why I've used Squarespace to create my brand new state-of-the-art website, badmnrvids.com. That's exactly what it sounds like. I was able to build the site quick and easy with their drag and drop features, creating my own state-of-the-art webpage in a matter of minutes without having any coding experience. In my rise to mediocrity, there have been a lot of terrible videos created along the way. You gotta get better with practice, and unfortunately for me, that practice did not look very good. So I brought back some of my original LEGO Star Wars comparison videos that I had removed from YouTube that you can watch only on badmnrvids.com. If you want to make your own website or blog like me, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when your site is ready, go to squarespace.com forward slash MNR for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thanks again to Squarespace. Links in the description below, and let's get on with the comparison. Now let's discuss the external look of both Luke's land speeders, because obviously how they end up on display is going to be important for a lot of people that like to display their Lego sets. I believe the smaller Luke's land speeder makes a great desk piece. If you have a desk at work or at home, or if you're in a college dorm, this is probably your optimal Luke's land speeder for a desk display. This is going to be a little bit big and cumbersome to fit on your desk. It'll get in your way. This is something you can kind of push off to the side. It can be there. It's not going to be the fanciest thing. It doesn't have the nicer C-3PO, but at the end of the day, for something that's going to go on your desk, that doesn't really matter. If you're a bigger collector, obviously, and you want something to go on your shelf, you want it to be a main piece of your display perhaps, then yeah, the UCS one is gonna be where it's at. So as far as the details go, the front of the UCS land speeder actually has a massive scratch on it. And that is something that is lacking from the smaller land speeder. It's an accurate look, but obviously something they only brought in for the UCS version. It also has a much nicer red stripe that goes all the way around the front hood of the land speeder. That is again, something not present on the smaller model as it was just too interesting a detail to fit into a model that small. The tubing on the side of the UCS set is also beautiful. They actually use the physical Lego tube pieces, which is what they actually used on the smaller sets most of the time, except in 2020, they changed the design to sticker to make it uh, more accurate, which it is. It has the proper number of tubes now. They used to just use like two tubes on the smaller set and they would go all the way around. So it was a nice change for the smaller set, as well as a nice change to see on the bigger set with all of the actual tubes physically there and not just represent by a sticker like how this is a sticker and such so that was nice as well you also find more detail on the top hood of the land speeder for the UCS model that is just completely absent from the smaller model like the middle stripe again when you're working with a model so small it's hard to include details like that because you don't have a piece that is going to fit between these studs without being double wide like it just can't possibly look good and work so that's something that they're able to work in on the UCS model that they aren't able to work in on the smaller model now what I think is one of the most interesting things when you you compare these two models is this one by two dark red tile on top kind of like an exhaust or something i'm not really sure what it is but it is represented by the exact same piece both on the ucs model and the smaller model that is something that is not seen really for anything else in either of the sets everything else kind of scales up proportionately to the ucs one except for that piece there which in this case seems like it's overscaled to the rest of the set like that seems to be why they kept it the same size here because it's not actually supposed to be any 
bigger. So that's just kind of a cool quirk about them having the smaller and larger model and the scale of pieces that they're working with. So kind of love that. A new windshield piece was a must have for the UCS set and they really delivered. Obviously on the playset, it's a much smaller windshield piece, one that they've used on tons of other sets, but they made one specifically for the UCS land speeder and it looks phenomenal. From the side, you can just see how much better coverage the newer windshield piece provides versus the older one, which just, I don't know, it looks a little bit small in comparison, obviously. Uh, you do have some of the details just kind of souped up for the UCS version, like these black pieces here represented pretty well on the smaller model with smaller black pieces there. Like they actually do a pretty good job with these smaller Luke's land speeders in that case. I'm not sure if this is something that's missing, but it looks like there's a bit of detail there that is left out on the UCS model here on the side between the right engine and the middle engine. So you can see, like I said, sticker there, also like a blaster. There's no like place to put his uh, weapon there either. So it, it also doesn't include like a bigger scale version of the weapon, which could have been nice, but not what they opted for. As for the actual engines, you can see very similar design, although the coloring on the UCS model and like the general design of it is just leaps and bounds better. Same deal for the engine on top, very similar look. However, at the end of the day, the UCS version takes the cake. The smaller model definitely could have used a black tile piece on the front of its engines for the intake because there's just nothing represented there. Like with the UCS model, they have the black, but there's just nothing on the smaller set. And I think it's really interesting to see the exposed wire set. They did a nice sticker for the smaller set and it's got a bunch of wires on there, but that'll only get you so far. The actual representation with Lego pieces is pretty crazy here and looks phenomenal. I'm very happy with the way that came out. And I obviously think it looks way better than this, which really only has the detail on the very front of it, right? This thing actually has the detail all throughout because it can have the detail all throughout much better look looking at the back end of both speeders you can see the UCS model just has significantly more detail but they both retain the same general shape and angles like you've got this slightly slanted in and downward angle which is also represented on the UCS model just much better and you also have these slopes on the inside that kind of curve around also represented on the smaller model. So the smaller model actually keeps pace with the bigger model very well, surprisingly. The last detail for the Landspear I wanted to talk about is this thing right here. You can see for the UCS model, they gave it a full indent and it actually has some real depth to it versus the $30 Landspeeder where they just used the Lego roller skate piece. So obviously it's in scale and like it makes sense that they would just use one piece for the smaller set, but it's crazy to see the difference in detail you get with the bigger set. I hate that I'm saying this, but hopefully soon Lego will make a microfighter loop Luke's Land Speeder. It's one of the few micro fighters they haven't made that I'm a little puzzled as to why, because they did release this as a Comic Con exclusive in 2012, but there were only a thousand of them. So not really a viable option for most people here. The more viable options are right here. And I think these are also just the better looking options. Anyway, I think both sets provide good value for money, but ultimately if you're a big collector like me, you gotta go big or go home with the UCS model and throw it on one of your shelves or in a display case shelf and really give it the display it deserves. But if you're a smaller time Lego Star Wars collector, which there probably are a lot more of than like diehard hardcore people like me, the smaller Luke's Landspeeder is not too shabby. It does a really great job of representing the source material. It includes some decent minifigures, definitely not as good in the C-3PO category, but like fun and good minifigures that you're not going to have a bad time with. It's not like they're terrible. And then you also get this nice little side build, which I mean, you can display it alongside or don't. I would just display the Landspeeder if I was displaying it on a desk. But to me, for collectors, these both do really well. And, you know, obviously for a playset, this is going to be the way to go, but I'm looking at this more of like through a collector's lens of putting it on a display. And I think they both are potentially very good for that, just obviously in very different spaces. So let me know which Luke's Land Speeder is better for your use case and why. If you guys enjoyed, a like would be greatly appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.